from March 22nd to the 28th. Tesla? Tesla? Saul. Saul. Command. Uh, Leviticus 6 1 through 836. The 25th reading from the Torah and the second reading from the book of Leviticus is called Saul. Saul which means command. The name comes from the first word of Leviticus 6, 9, where the Lord says to Moses, command Aaron and his sons. So, reiterates the five steps of sacrifices introduced in the previous portion, but the time discusses the uh, priestly regulation pertaining to them. The, first, the last chapter of the reading describes the seven-day ordination of Aaron and his son as they prepared to enter the holy priesthood. Keep the fire burning. <sighs> That's for the week. The altar fire was holy fire ignited by the presence of God. This sacred fire was never to be extinguished. The fire on the altar is to be kept burning on it. The fire shall be kept burning continually on the altar. It is not to go out. Leviticus 6, 12 through 13. Commentary. The Torah says the priest used flames from the fire to light the menorah. And they used the coals from the altar to burn the incense on the golden altar. Fire brought from some source other than the altar is referred to as strange fire. Now on the inside. <laughs> Go ahead and read the rest of it too. Okay. How did they keep the fire burning when transporting the altar? The tabernacle was made to be portable. Numbers 4.13. Explain that when it was time to move the tabernacle, they were to take the ashes from the altar and spread a purple cloth over the top of it. How would this work if the fire was continually burning on the altar? Rashi explains that they covered the holy flame with a large overturned copper pot. Starved of oxygen, the fire would be reduced to hot. Live coals that would be rekindled when the covering were removed from the altar. The altar was to be compared to a man's heart. Just as the fire had to be kept burning on the altar, so <coughs> too we must keep our hearts aflame with the love of God. Amen. Yeshua teaches that it is our duty to love him with all our heart, soul, and mind, and to show the love of, by loving our neighbor as ourselves. Fire is a good analogy for love. <coughs> Just as the fire sometimes burns hot and bright, we sometimes feel love passionately. The love of God can fill us with the intense yearning. It can blaze forth from us with acts of compassion and kindness. At other times, the fire burns low but steady. The love of God can warm our hearts even when we do not feel the intense heat of passion. Where, whether it is burning hot Blazing hot, burning steadily, or smoldering in bright coals, the important thing is that it never that we never let the love of God be extinguished. Amen. Amen. 
We should not feel spiritual, <laughs> depressed, or unworthy when the fire, when the flame has burned low, as if there is something wrong with us. The tabernacle altar demonstrates that it is natural for a fire to burn hot and then burn low. Instead of Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake this time. Okay. Instead of feeling as though something was has gone wrong with our spiritual lives, we need simply attend to our duties. Remove the ashes. Add fresh fuel. Land the coals and stroke the fire of love again. Amen. Amen.